Hello, good people. Welcome to the program Learn Field of Poku. Me mamu ni na apa ba belu me di ayatu ni din unu opoku ni siye chi yeso. This is a lesson on formation of sentences in chi with a subheading chi introduction. So we're going to learn how to introduce ourselves or others using the chi language. So let's set the ball rolling. Well, in English we normally say hello, hello to introduce ourselves, isn't it? Yeah, I tell you, wherever you go in Ghana, you can also say hello and you'll be understood. However, if you want to speak Chi or say hello in Chi, then you can substitute it by saying me chiawo. Me chiawo. That is when you see just one person, then you say me chiawo. And that will mean you are saying hello. But if there are two or more, then you will say me chiamo. Me chiamo. And then that will mean you are saying hello to those people. However, mechiamu has a literal meaning, and that is, I am greeting you, I am greeting you. And like I said, you can substitute that for what? Hello, hello. Well, when you say mechiamu, that means you are greeting or you are saying hello to just one person. And so, that person will say Meaning, I respond to you. I respond to you. But if they are many, then you will say, Me chiamu. Mu means what? You, the plural. And then wo means what? You, singular. So you either say, Me chiamu or Me chiamu. It depends about the number of people. Good. If they are many, then they will say, Yeji wusu. Yeji wusu, meaning we respond. We respond. Well, that is how you can say hello in P. But this is a bonus one. Whatever time you are, or whatever time it is, if you are in Ghana and you want to greet good morning, Good afternoon or good evening. You can use this phrase, me chiawo or me chiamu. It's like moi in German or ciao in Italian. You can use these forms of greeting at any point in time of the day. And it's normal. So, me chiawo can be used to mean good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So, to save yourself, you can use this. Me chiawo or me chiamu to mean good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Good. Now, let's assume that you have finished chatting with a person and you want to say goodbye. In Chi, you can say bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. That is to say goodbye in Chi. Or you can say near Minu Din Krao. Minu Din Krao. Minu Din Krao. And then the person will say, Yo Nanti Ye. Yo Nanti Ye. Meaning, okay, save Jenny. Okay, save Jenny. Yo Nanti Ye. You can also use that. Okay. Most of the times, after we have said goodbye, then we say, see you later. See you later. Chi, you can say, etri. Etri. Etri meaning what? See you later. But you can also say, yebe shie biu. Yebe shie biu. Yebe shie biu simply means, we'll meet again. Yeah. Is from what? Yen. Yen. That is we. Or 
us. Be means what? Will. Share meet. Bio again. Ye be share bio. Ye be share bio. Meaning we we'll meet again. But you can use that to mean see you later. See you later. Or we'll meet again. We'll meet again. Ye be share bio. Ye be share bio. So as I said, you can say a tree or ye be share bio. Good. When you say that, the response will be yo ye be share bio. Yo ye be share bio. Or yo a tree. Yo a tree. However, at times you want to say, okay, see you tomorrow, see you tomorrow, then you will say, Yebeshia or China. Yebeshia or China will meet tomorrow. Yebeshia, ye is from what? Ye, and that is us or we. Ye, beshia. Be means what? Well, shia meet. So, we'll, we'll meet or China, that is tomorrow. We'll meet tomorrow. Or you can say, Yebehu yenhu bio or China, meaning we'll see ourselves again tomorrow. Yebehu yenhu bio or China. Yebehu yenhu bio or China. We'll see ourselves again tomorrow. However, and this is the final one, at times you want to say, See you on Sunday or see you on Saturday. You want to be specific. So, for instance, if you want to say see you on Sunday, then you say yebeshia kosiada, yebeshia kosiada. Well, if you want to know the days of the week in P, I'll put a link in the description. I've made a thorough video on that, so you can refer to that video and learn three days of the week. However, let me say, this is where we'll end this lesson. If you did enjoy the lesson, then hit the subscribe button. If you have not yet subscribed, share, like, help others to get access to such videos from me by sharing this lesson on all your social media handles. Thanks for doing that.